Hi, my name is Ben Brownlee from Curious Turtle, and we are going to be looking at the BCC Beauty Studio Filter. Now, the Beauty Studio Filter is designed to help to even out and reduce blemishes on skin, eliminating wrinkles and pores, whilst also maintaining the natural look of skin so that things don't blur and smooth out in a weird and unnatural way. And we can see at the default settings, the differences are very noticeable. We have a huge amount of smoothing going on, taking in not only the skin, but also the background as well. So if we take a look at the smoothing here, we can choose which level of details we're going to smooth out and which we're going to maintain. So in this case, I'm gonna keep in some of the smallest details. I can also take these small details here and we can even turn this to a negative number to make it easier to see which areas we're going to be affecting. Just reduce that down a little bit there as well. And I'll take the master amount down just a smidge too. There are two main parts of the Beauty Studio that we're looking at. The first is the smoothing, and the second part is where we apply that smoothing. And we do that using the Pixel Chooser. And the Pixel Chooser is built into most of the BCC effects, and it allows us to use mats and masks to limit where the effect is being applied to. And I'll turn on my view matte mask there. You can see by default, it's picking up most of the areas of the image, which is why it's affecting too much of the area. So we're gonna limit that. Let's turn off my view matte mask for a second come down to the pixel chooser mat and we've got two colors here and I'm just going to sample two of the skin tones to make the basis for our key. I can tweak my hue saturation and luma softness to isolate the areas that I really want. And once I'm happy with my mat I can turn that off and then we can just have a quick look at the before and after. So we see the before on the left and the after on the right and I can tweak this up a little bit more if I need to. I can even add some sharpness here using the mask that I've created earlier. If we take a look at our second shot, and I'll just turn the effect on, you'll see that we're affecting not only our main girl here, this one on the side, but we're also taking in some of the hair and the other elements that we don't want to affect. So once I tweak up the mat a little bit, we can also create a mask over the top. And we can use basic shapes such as eggs, oval rectangles, or the built-in version of Mocha to create and track more complex shapes. So in this case, I'll create a very quick shape around the face. And I'll save this out and come back out. So now I can see the combination of both my mat and my mask, even adding a little bit more softness there if I need to and just isolating out the effect to the main girl here. Again, if we take a look at the side-by-side -side view, we can see we've made quite a bit of difference in a very short amount of time. But that's just a quick look of how we can start to use BCC Beauty Studio in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching and be sure to click on the link in the description to download a free trial of Continuum for OFX. Also, follow Boris FX on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with our latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire